Okay, so hello everyone. In the previous video, we have discussed about um, about solving differential equations, wherein the characteristic equation has the same roots. Okay, so in this example, we will have an example of um, solving differential equations with characteristic equation that has the same roots. Okay, so assuming that we have this current solution in sub n equals 4 times a sub n minus 1 minus 4 times a sub n minus 2. And the uh, initial conditions, a sub 0 is equal to 1 and a sub 1 is equal to 3. And so the step one, find the degree of a. So in this case, to compute for a sub n, we need the two terms, a sub n minus one, previous two terms, a sub n minus one, and a sub n minus two. So we can then say that a is equal to two. Okay, and then step two, find the characteristic equation. So we do that with the form e sub n is equal to r to n. So what we can do is simply replace all of this a sub n with r raised to n. So we then have characteristic equation r raised to r, r raised to n equals four a four r raised to n minus one minus 4 r raised to n minus 2. Okay, so we will move everything on the left hand side. So we have r raised to n minus 4 r raised to n minus 1 plus 4 r raised to n minus 2 equals 0. Next, simplify. So we will divide this with r raised to n minus k. And we know that the degree k is 2, so this will be divided by r raised to n minus 2. So we then have r raised to n minus n minus 2 minus 4 r raised to n minus 1 minus n minus 2 plus 4 r plus 2. Um, n minus 2 minus n minus 2. We divide it by oops, r is to n minus 2. Ah, sorry, sorry. We divide it by. So this is into final number. So this will be r squared minus 4r. Plus four equals zero. Okay, so this is still zero. Okay, and now we have our C E characteristic equation R squared minus four R plus four. And for the step three is find the roots. So we have r squared minus 4r plus 4. So what would be the possible new factors of this? So it could be r minus 2 times r minus 2. And it is equal to 0. So with this, we have r equals 2 and r also equals 2. So we have r sub 0. And then for the step four, so step four is find the coefficients. So since we have um, the same roots, so the a sub n that we are going to use will be the closed form solution with the a sub n will equal to alpha one, r sub zero, raised to n. 
plus alpha t times n times r minus to n. Okay, so r sub zero. So you can see here in the same roots in the manifold. So we already know the value of r. So if we plug in, we lang natin this equation. So we have alpha one times two raised to n plus alpha t times n times two raised to n. Okay. So ito na yung closed form solution natin. Closed form solution. Now, yung problema na lang natin ay kung ano yung main value na alpha 1 at yung alpha 2. Kasi nga, naghahanap tayo ng coefficients. So, hindi pa natin alam kung ano yung alpha 1 at alpha 2. So, how to be clear with the equations of it? Initial conditions, A sub 0 and A sub 1. So, use this equation to get for the equation for A sub 1. Zero. Okay, so we have a sub zero equals alpha one to the zero. So n equals zero d. Okay. Plus alpha two times two times two the three. supposed to be zero so since a sub zero zero times two is to zero so this whole the left is all will be zero so a sub zero will be equal to alpha one and alpha one is equal to a uh, initial condition of an a sub zero a one so from the balikan yeah a sub zero is equal to one and a sub one is equal to two so a sub, a sub 0, which is equal to alpha 1, this will be equal to 1. Okay, how about for a1? For a1, if we look in the gamete natin, so replace na natin yung n with 1. So a sub 1 is equal to alpha 1 times 2 raised to 1 plus alpha 2 times 1 times 2 raised to 1. So alpha 1, a1 is equal to alpha 1 times 2 plus alpha 2 times 2. So we can rewrite it as 2 alpha 1 plus 2 alpha 2. And we know that a1 is equal to a. Kasi nga, Yung sa initial condition natin, yung e1 is equal to, sorry, 3 pala, 3, not 3. This is supposed to, oops, okay. This is supposed to be, okay. So, meron na tayong bilang na equation. We already know the value of alpha 1, and we know that it is equal to 1. So, yung problem nila is alpha 2. So, yung gaganitin natin is 2 alpha 1 plus 2 alpha 2 plus 3. And we know that alpha 1 is 1. So, plus 2 alpha 2 plus 3. So, 2 alpha 2 is equal to 2. So one, so alpha two will be equal to one half. So then, sure. So we have to find alpha one and alpha two. We find them in the equation. So so let's let's not think. We have alpha zero equals alpha zero nothing equals to two. Then alpha one is equal to one and alpha two. Okay. 
So the last step would be to write it all into our equation. Our close form solution is e sub n equals alpha 1 times 2 raised to n or 6, 6 and okay. So alpha 1 also be raised to n plus alpha 2 times n times alpha 0 raised to n. So we know that alpha 1 is 1. So 1 times and then alpha 0 is 2. So times 2 raised to n. So 1 times 2 raised to n. Plus the alpha 2. Alpha 2 is 1 half. So plus 1 half times n. And then alpha 0 is 2 is the n. Okay, so we then have the simplified 2 is the n plus 1 half. N times two raised to n. Okay, so we can then um, copy our two raised to n from the two terms and divide by two raised to n because my two raised to n is greater. So we have two raised to n times one plus one half raised to one half times n. Okay, so then we have 